Hi, this is Monty from Mopart Vehicles and here's another one of our detailed vehicle appraisals on a car that's just come into us. This is our BMW 118D. It's a 2 litre, uh, but they are badged up as a 118D. It's an SE, uh, but a really nice specification SE. Now, I'm going to briefly walk around the car and give you a more detailed view very shortly. Now, hopefully you won't get too much glare um, in, the, um, in, the, in the camera lens. I'll try and avoid that. The other thing as well is I'm in a public park, so you may see people walking past, so I do apologise. Now, these videos do tend to take about 8 to 10 minutes long. Um, I try and be as thorough as I possibly can, tell you about a car, uh, how I see it. So we don't want to waste anybody's time, you know, customers, whether they are two miles away or 200 miles away. We don't want to waste anybody's time. Uh, she is 11 years of age. She's covered 111,000 miles, but good service history. Uh, eight service stamps all together from memory, and most of them have been covered at BMW. Okay, so I'm just going to briefly walk around the car and give you a more detailed view very shortly. Now I'm going to hold the camera there for a little while if you need to do any kind of MOT checks, uh, ringing up BMW to verify service history, etc., that type of thing. But feel free to do that. So hopefully you've written that registration number down now. Now, in terms of the specification of the car, I mentioned it's quite a high spec. So you've got anything from automatic headlamps, you've got the larger upgraded alloys which have just been refurbished in this really nice gunmetal grey. We wanted to try and make the cars, or most of our cars, we try and make them a bit more individual. So um, yeah, when the sun shines on them, especially like this front wheel there, you can see the sort of sun sort of creeping over on the front of the car. Uh, they do sparkle absolutely fantastically. Now, um, yes, I mentioned it's a, a pretty high spec car. So front and rear parking sensors, uh, folding mirrors. I mentioned about the upgraded alloy wheels and you've also got privacy glass, which I'll show you in more detail. You might have picked it up as I was walking around the car. So apologies, yeah, the sun's starting to come through. So you're gonna get a few shadows. Okay, now I mentioned it's 11 years of age, it's covered 111,000 miles, uh, but drives really, really well, really, really well. You know, uh, in terms of an 11 year old car with 111,000 miles, it's not gonna drive like a brand new car, but she does drive really, really well. I've, I've put about 150 miles on this car myself, uh, and uh, yeah, enjoyed every mile. So in terms of tyre tread, there will be some pictures of the tyre tread. They've got approximately five millimetres front and rear. So when we, uh, when we had the wheels um, painted, we swapped the front and rears over, but they're approximately five millimetres of tread. So the alloy wheels are gonna be absolutely brand spanking new. Now this particular car has had front and rear discs recently. I'd probably say in the last six months or so, Brakes are really, really sharp, but you can actually tell when you look at them, uh, they're not really badly lipped or anything like that. So what I'm gonna try and do is hopefully, I'm not so sure if you can pick up any reflections down the side of the car. Um, I tend to use a HD uh, camera. Um, in, in, I mean, some dealers are starting to do these videos now and about a minute and a half long. Don't really show you much about the car, but um, I just wanted to uh, show you as best as possible. Um, how the car looks okay and I'll show you give you a view inside very shortly now hopefully this might give you a slightly better view hopefully you can pick up the reflections looks all really good it's fantastic there's no digs dents anything like that on there now there's a couple of little stone chips well a few stone chips on the front but I'll point them out to you very shortly looking inside the car hopefully that all looks really good so you've got the brushed aluminium trim so it's in the center there you've got six speed manual transmission um, air conditioning climate control so driver and passenger separate and it is freezing cold not that you're going to really need the air conditioning right now with the way the weather is so i mentioned about automatic headlamps You've got cruise control as well. You might be able to see the stalk in there. Apologies if we're getting a bit of glare coming through. Seats are in really, really good order. 
there's no ripping no really bad fraying and again this is the se so it's got a slightly uh, softer suspension you don't have them sports seats that you'll tend to have in the m sport so four electric windows i think on some of these on the se's they only come with two electric windows but it's got four electric mirrors and folding mirrors as well and let me just show you the back now it's going to be a bit darker in here because of the privacy glass Hopefully you can try and you may be able to pick that up as I point it out towards the windows there. But back seat, again, looking great condition. Door panels, again, there's no fraying, anything like that at all. I'll show you the boot area. And you've got a really nice uh, BMW um, sort of load liner in there it's definitely a BMW you've got the BMW logo down there lock and walnut key I think is in that little corner yep lock and walnut key is down there split folding 60-40 seats rear parking sensors you can see them they're all working fine Again, now there's a couple of little stone chips along this side here. Now the sun is starting to creep over, so hopefully you might try and pick it up. Maybe not, but many apologies there. A few little stone chips along here. They've all been touched up. Again, plenty of tread around the tyres. Again, wheels are brand new because they've just been refurbished. And then you can probably try and make out the disc. You can probably see that kind of grey line around them. Uh, shows they're not that very old. Now, I'm just going to try and go down this side here. Hopefully you can try and pick some, a few bits and pieces up. Apologies if you can't, but hopefully with the pictures that you'll, uh, that you'll see that I've posted, you'll be able to see it's all in fine, fine fettle. Again, showing you in here, back passenger side. All looks in good condition and then showing you everything in the passenger side front again door panels look really good seats in good condition there's no kind of fraying on that side either you got your twin cup holders in the center and I mentioned it's got six speed manual transmission you can probably try and pick up the rest of this uh, brushed aluminium trim as well on the car now in terms of condition of the car uh, as I mentioned it, it drives really well it's a fantastic looking car now there are going to be a few little stone chips here and there now most of it is going to be along the front of the vehicle okay so you've got a few along leading edge here near the parking sensors you've got a few little stone chips here and there we have touched most of them up and then along the leading edge at the front now I mentioned the car's got 111,000 miles it's not a brand new car guys this is the reasons we tend to do these videos you've got a few stone chips there are a few along the bonnet that have been touched up now nine times out of ten you take a picture from there you're not going to pick anything up okay there's a few along the leading edge of the bonnet around here but you know nothing really untoward i mean some customers do say to me i do go a little bit overboard um, I just try and be as thorough as I possibly can. So, um, I just wanted to thank you very much for your time. If you're interested in this particular car or anything else we've got at Moat Park Vehicles, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Uh, send me an email, send me a text, and I'll get back to you straight away. Many thanks for your time. Bye-bye.